Hello friends, welcome you in my channel Science and All. This is the third video of Kinematics of Flow from Fluid Mechanics. In the previous video, we have discussed about various types of flow, streamline, pathline, and streak line, and also the rate of fluid flow and continuity equation. I have up uploaded the link of those video in the description below. Please check out the link and get the complete information. In today's video, we are going to discuss about velocity and acceleration in the fluid flow. So, let us consider a particle present in the 3D space. So, it has 3 degree of movability. So, it can move in x direction, it can move in y direction and it can move in z direction. So, with that, let us consider u as the velocity of the particle in the x direction. Let us consider v as the velocity of the particle in the y direction and let consider w as the velocity of the particle in the z direction. So the velocity component is the function of space coordinate and time. So we can represent u as function of x, y, z and time, v as function of x, y, z and time and w as a function of x, y, z and time. So these are the three velocities of the particle in the free space. So the resultant velocity of the particle in the vector notation we can write it as v equal to ui plus vj plus wk and to find the magnitude of the velocity we have to make the square root of square of each addition of the velocity. So v equal to under root of u square plus v square plus w square. So this is how we get the magnitude of velocity of the particle in the 3D space. So as we know a particle has velocity. So with that it also has the acceleration in the x direction, in the y direction and also in the z direction. So the acceleration of the particle in the x, x direction we can write it as ax in the y direction we can write it as ay and in the z direction we can write it as az then by the chain rule so this is one type of rule chain rule of deformation we can write the acceleration of the particle in the x direction will be given by du by dt because u is the velocity of the particle in the x direction and since we know that u is the function of x, y, z and t. So du by dt we can write it as du by dx into dx by dt plus du by dy into dy by dt plus du by dz into dz by dt plus du by dt. So actually this is rho. Rho u by rho x into rho x by rho t plus rho u by rho y into rho y by rho t plus rho u by rho z into rho z by rho t plus rho u by rho t. So this is the acceleration of the particle in the x direction. Now we know that rho x by rho t is nothing but the velocity of the particle in the x direction. Rho y by rho t is nothing but the velocity of the particle in the v direction, in the y direction and rho z by rho t is nothing but the velocity of the particle in the z direction which we represented by w. So instead of dx by dt, dy by rho y by rho t and rho z by rho t we can write u, v and w respectively. So let us write ax equal to du by dt equal to u rho u by rho x plus v rho u by rho y plus w rho u by rho z plus rho u by rho t. So this is how we get the expression for the acceleration of the particle in the x direction. Similarly, we can find the acceleration of the particle in the y direction too. So acceleration of the particle in the y direction equal to dv by dt since v is the velocity in the y direction. Now again we have to split that equation as per we have split in ax direction. So after that we also get the expression for ay equal to u into rho v by rho x plus v into rho v by rho y 
plus W into rho V by rho Z plus rho V by rho D. You have now find out that here we are finding the expression for a y means the velocity in the y direction and we know that the velocity in the y direction we represented by v so here we get v v v and b at first we have we are finding the velocity acceleration in the x direction and we know that the velocity in the x direction is represented by u so in that expression we get u so this is the depression difference you need to remember and similarly in the z direction we represented acceleration as az and we get the expression for acceleration as dw by dt equal to u rho w by rho x plus v rho w by rho y plus w rho w by rho z plus rho w by rho t and here we get the velocity w so you get now if you want to remember the expression by heart then you just need to remember at first you need to remember that u is the velocity in the x direction v is the velocity in the y direction and w is the velocity in the z direction now du by dt dv by dt and dw by dt now what you just need to do is you need to write u v w u v w u v w so after that just write do u by do x if you are finding in the x direction do v by do x if you are finding in the y direction and rho w by rho x if you are finding in the z direction so this is how you can easily remember the expression for ax ay and az now for steady type of flow means where the flow has constant velocity so hence velocity is zero means do u by do t do v by do t and do w by do t is equal to zero since they are constant in the steady state condition now since they are zero we can also mention that in the above expression so after putting zero in the above expression we get the acceleration in the x direction as u is equal to do u by do x plus v into do u by do y plus w into do u by do z similarly for y direction a y equal to u into do v by do x plus v into do v by do y plus w into do v by do z and similarly for z direction a z equal to u into do w by do x plus v into do w by do y plus w into sorry no it's right is it equal to u into do w by do x plus v into do w by do y plus w into do w by do z so this is how we get the expression for ax ay and az for steady state flow so where you will find that where the problem comes of steady state flow you need to remember these accelerations for steady kind of flow now we have find the acceleration of the particle in the three direction so the vector addition of the all acceleration is given by a equal to ax i plus ay j plus az k and to find the magnitude we have to square root of square of addition of all the three acceleration so magnitude we can get by a equal to under root of x square plus ay square plus az square so this is the expression for the magnitude of acceleration of the particle so hope you understand the concept behind velocity of the particle which is represented as v equal to under root of u square plus v square plus z square and the acceleration of the particle which is represented by a equal to ax square plus ay square plus az square now depending on this let us solve the one numerical so that you will get the complete idea regarding the acceleration and velocity now in fluid flow there are two types of acceleration the first one is the convective type of acceleration and second one is the local type of acceleration now we have already find it the expression for acceleration of the particle in the x direction now which one is 
u into do u by do x plus v into do u by do y plus w into do u by do z plus do u by do t. So from that, this part, this part is called as convective acceleration, and this part is called as local acceleration. So these are the two types of acceleration in the fluid flow. Now let us solve the one numerical on that. So the numerical is given by as the velocity vector is given by v equal to 4x cube i minus 10x square y j plus 2t of k. So velocity is given in the vector form. Now they are telling to find the magnitude of velocity and acceleration of fluid particle at 1 3 2 1 3 at t equal to 1 second so this is x position this is y position and this is z position so let's solve this numerical actually we know that the velocity of the particle in the vector form is represented by v equal to ui plus vj plus wk so comparing this equation with this equation we can find u is equal to 4x cube v equal to 10x square y and z equal to 2t so means w equal to 2t okay and we also know the position x y and z now put this position into the velocity equation so we get u is equal to 32 units v equal to minus 40 units and w is equal to 2t units since t equal to 1 second now we need to find the magnitude of velocity so for that we need to square root of u square plus v square plus w square so after putting these values in the equation we get the magnitude of velocity as 51.26 unit so this is how we can calculate the velocity of the particle in the free space now to calculate the acceleration we know that the equation which was given is steady state equation means the velocity is not changing with respect to time so the expression for as is obtained as u is equal to do u by do x plus v into do u by do y plus w into do u by do z similarly we can get the equation for ay and az now we know the value of u we know the value of v and we also know the value of w after putting the value of now we don't know the value of do u by do x do u by do y and do u by do z so for that what we need to do is we need to differentiate u with respect to x we know that u is given by 4x cube so differentiating u with respect to dx so we get 4 as constant and do by do x of x cube and we can calculate as 4 into 3 into x square so this is how we get and this is how we can calculate do u by do x similarly we have to calculate do u by do y since here there is no term of y so do u by do y is directly comes zero and similarly there is no term z in the u equation so do u by do z again comes zero so this is how we have to calculate do v by do x do v by do y and do v by do z similarly we have to calculate do w by do x do w by do y and do w by do z but you know that in the term w which was given by 2t you are getting t in the equation which means the velocity w is changing with respect to time so we need to remain do w by do t in the equation as it is so the equation for az is given by u into do w by do x plus v into do w by do y plus w into do, z, do w by do z plus 
dou w by dou t since we know here there is no term like x y and z so dou w with respect to x y z comes to be zero so dou w with respect to dou t is comes to be two so this is how we get the value for dou w by dou t and it is only two so let's find the value of ax after putting the value of x in this equation we get the value as 1536 units now for ay we get the value as 320 units and for az we get the value as only 2 units so this is how we have calculate the value of ax ay and az now we know that the acceleration in the vector form is represented as ax is equal to a equal to ax of i plus a y of j plus a z of k and this equation in the magnitude form is represented as a equal to under root of ax square plus ay square plus az square now let put the values of ax ay and az into the this equation we can calculate the magnitude of a as 1568.9 units so this is how we can calculate the magnitude of acceleration so this is all about the acceleration and velocity of the particle in the 3d space of fluid mechanics so hope you like the video if you have any comment or any doubt regarding today's topic please let me know in the comment section below write down in the comment section your problem and i will definitely give reply to your problem so please like this video and share this video with your friends so that they will also get the knowledge and please don't forget to subscribe my channel to get the more videos of fluid mechanics to study the complete fluid mechanics and please hit the bell icon too so thank you and see you soon in the next video